Welcome back to the Boost Plant Channel, where we cover everything aquascaping and we try and entertain and inspire you along the way. My name is Logan with Team Boost Plant, and today we've got four tips that you should consider when buying new aquarium plants. Now, before we dive into the list, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for lots more educational, informational, and entertaining content like this. Now, without further ado, let's dive into the topic. Number one, plant heavy from the start. This is a tip that is often overlooked by new aquarists. You spend a lot of money on all the technology to set up your aquascape, and by the time you get ready to plant, there's not much budget left for the actual plants. And this is a huge mistake because if you don't plant enough, algae can get a really nice foothold in your tank and ultimately take over. So we highly recommend planting as densely as your budget will allow. Now there are ways to save money when doing this. You can shop our plant bundle packages. For example, we often offer five pot bundles of a specific species of plant for a discount. And you could also shop tissue culture plants. Now tissue culture plants may seem a lot smaller visually, but they're actually really densely packed. So you can cover a lot of soil with just a few pots. It's really important to cover as much soil as you can and give your aquarium as much plant mass to fight off that algae and really, really thrive. Number two, avoid magic carpet seeds. At one point or another, it's extremely common to come across a posting on the internet or a video of somebody growing a carpet within days with seeds they got from the internet. This is without a doubt a scam and will not provide any sort of long-term result. If the seeds even do grow in the first place, they're usually a species that isn't fully aquatic and they'll die back after a few days. So you wanna avoid these types of seeds that you'll often find at your big box stores or maybe online somewhere like Amazon. While it's not uncommon to propagate new plants using seeds in greenhouses around the world that mass produce aquarium plants, no consumer should ever need to buy seeds. And it's just a scam that may give you one or two days of results, but will ultimately die back, cost you money, and that energy and excitement that is so valuable when you're new to a hobby. So avoid the carpet seed scam at all costs and do your friends and family a favor and spread the word about that because information within this hobby is very, very powerful. Tip number three, know which plants will thrive in your tank. If you're new to aquascaping, you're coming in at an amazing time because we have so many different species of plants available to us. But it's really important to know that not all plant species will thrive in your setup. And the first thing you wanna ask yourself is, do I have a low tech or a high tech tank? Am I running CO2? Do I have high par lighting? If you're confused about how CO2 works or how lighting works, go ahead and check out our videos on each of those topics. They are linked down below in the description. But it's very important to select plants that are gonna thrive on the conditions you have. This also goes for your water. If you have rock hard tap water, not all plants are gonna thrive. If you have super duper soft tap water, you'll probably be able to grow a lot of different species as long as you couple them with ample CO2 and quality lighting. But even if you have a low tech tank with low par lighting and rock hard tap water, there are plants that will thrive in your tank. So do your research and be sure to check out our video where we break down some of the best beginner friendly aquarium plants. It's important when you're new to this hobby to get really good at growing healthy plants. That's gonna give you a lot of success and it's gonna motivate you to continue and to experiment and branch out with more demanding plants. Number four, pest snails are nothing to fear. Whenever you purchase a new non-tissue culture plant, whether it's from the Boost Plant website or from your local fish store, it's possible that you'll introduce some snails or a little bit of algae into your aquarium. If you have a well-established cycled setup where you're doing regular maintenance, introducing a little bit of pest snails or a little bit of algae is not gonna cause any sort of catastrophic issues. Additionally, snails are actually an important part of the ecosystem of your tank. They get into all those little nooks and crannies that your maintenance tools won't reach. And they actually help feed on things like algae and diatoms, as well as decaying matter in your tank. So there's nothing to fear. However, if you have a ton of waste and you're not on top 
top of your maintenance and maybe debris and fish poop and food builds up, then those snails can get out of control really, really quickly. So it's important to keep a tidy aquarium. But if you don't wanna ever introduce pest snails, you can bleach dip new plants. Now, if you go the tissue culture route, you'll never have to do this since tissue culture plants are grown in sterile laboratory conditions. However, with non-tissue culture plants, you can bleach dip them to sort of disinfect them before you introduce them into your aquarium. We have an entire blog post on how to bleach dip new aquarium plants that'll take you through the step-by-step -step process for how to do this safely. If you want to take things one step further, you can even quarantine those new aquarium plants for a week or two. But either way, introducing a few snails and a little bit of algae to your tank is nothing to fear, and it will just contribute to that natural ecosystem. So these are all the tips we have for you today, but we want to hear from you. Do us a favor and let us know down below in the comments what your tips are when picking up new aquarium plants. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for lots more exciting content just like this. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Logan with Team Boost Plant. Now get out there and create something beautiful.